So thank you very much for the opportunity to report on our results of uh, acute febrile illness, influenza vaccination, and the risk of acute stroke within the interstroke study. My name is Christopher Schwarzbach, and I report on behalf of the interstroke investigators. So acute inflammatory disease has been reported before to transiently increase the risk of cerebrovascular events, especially urinary tract infections and respiratory infections. And the seasonality of influenza-like illness appears to be associated too to the seasonality of cardio and cerebrovascular disease. Moreover, in observational studies and a corresponding meta-analysis, influenza vaccination was associated with a reduced risk of stroke. So we hypothesized that acute febrile illness will be associated with an increased risk of ischemic stroke and intracerebral hemorrhage in different parts of the world. And influenza vaccination within one year will lower the risk of stroke independent of other stroke risk factors. So the interstroke study has been a large international case control study, which has been conducted between 2007 and 2015. Um, it includes 13,447 cases and approximately the same number of aged and gender match control subjects. We had participating centers from 142 centers from 32 countries, from Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, the Middle East, Australia, and South America. And participants were patients with first ever stroke admitted to hospital within five days of the symptom onset. And the aim of interstroke was to quantify the importance of risk factors for stroke in different parts of the world. And within interstroke, he assessed um, recent febrile illness and influenza vaccination systematically, and then used conditional logistic regression um, to quantify our results. Here are our results. Acute febrile illness um, in the preceding four weeks um, was indeed more commonly reported by ischemic stroke patients, namely 8.7% than our control subjects, namely 5.6%, with an adjusted odds ratio of 1.18. And the association between recent acute febrile illness and ischemic stroke was actually stronger compared to community controls with an adjusted odds ratio of 2.0, but was absent when compared to hospital controls. And uh, there was no as association, however, between acute febrile illness and intracerebral hemorrhage. Concerning influenza vaccination, we found that it was associated with lower odds of stroke, with an odds ratio of 0.53 in the adjusted multivariable analysis. And this includes ischemic stroke with an odds ratio of 0.57, as well as intracerebral hemorrhage with an odds ratio of 0.34. And these results were consistent also in an extended statistical model where we included uh, variables uh, which might influence the willingness to be vaccinated by the participants and both compared to community and hospital controls. And vaccination was associated with significantly lower odds in all regions of the world um, besides South Asia and Africa. However, influenza rate, uh, vaccination rates um, in these two regions were extremely low and the one has said. The odds of stroke were lower among those with five influenza vaccinations in a row in the past, past five years uh, than in patients who got one to four vaccinations in the past five years. So our results show that acute febrile illness is associated with increased odds of ischemic stroke in most parts of the world at least. And uh, the implications are that influenza vaccination is, of course, a cost-effective method uh, to prevent influenza in older adults, but also potentially to lower the burden of stroke. And our results, therefore, encourage the use of influenza vaccination also in these regions where it's commonly hardly used. So thank you very much.